Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a what is in my beach bag video as well as a waterproof makeup tutorial. Now this is just the waterproof makeup that I like to wear. This isn't it. This is what I had on before, but I'm about to go to the pool and I just wanted to show you guys what I like to wear so that my makeup does not come on. I'm trying to continue on with drugstore tune. There is one high-end product that I like to use for my waterproof makeup routine, so just ignore that and fill it in with whatever you like to use and that's just my brow product. But um, I'm going to do the what is in my beach bag first and then I will go into my makeup. So let's get so started. My bag is from 31, which is like a, it's sort of like a customized, like customizable bag kind of thing. They have a lot of different kinds of materials and stuff, but this is just it. I like to have like a backpack style one just because I feel like it's easier to carry around with me if I want to go somewhere. And usually whenever I go to the pool, it's just like the city pool that you know, it's not super fancy, and I don't really live near a beach. But, anyways, this is what it is. In the front pocket, I like to keep my phone, which is actually just out on the theme, Bobber, but, or on my desk in front of me. But this is my phone. I have the white iPhone 4. So going into the big pocket, this is what it looks like. I have a lot of stuff in here. First of all is my towel. I have no clue where my towel is from. I just think it's really cute. It's pink and um, orange. You can only see the orange part, but there is some pink in it, and I... Just need a beach towel when you're going to the beach or pool. Next, I like to have something to read. I've been really into Insurgent. Um, if the sequel to Divergent, if you haven't read Divergent slash Insurgent, you need to go and read them. I'm this far in, and I started reading this yesterday. That's my little bookmark right here. It's a really, really, really good book. So if you haven't, and Divergent is really good too. So start reading Divergent and Insurgent. This has been, like, the best book ever so far, and it's just amazing. I can't stop hugging it because... It's just huggable. Okay. Next, moving into more sort of not so much entertainment stuff, just stuff that I need. First of all is sunblock. I have the CVS SPF 30 Clear Spray. I like to spray this on my whole body and on my back. That's always helpful to not have to rub in all the cream. But for my face, I really love this. This is my mom's, but I've kind of semi-inherited it from her, but we do share it. It's the Alba Botanica Natural Hawaiian Sunscreen with SPF 30. And the main reason that I like this is, first of all, sometimes SPF 30 is not enough. This time it is. And it doesn't smell like sunscreen. I really don't like the smell of sunscreen. This smells like heavenly. I don't know what it is. It smells like pineapple, like fruity and tropical and fantastic. And this is 100% vegetarian ingredients and there is no animal testing on most Alba Botanica products. So I really like this sunblock, especially for my face and also for other sensitive areas like on my shoulders or um, on like the back of my neck. Anywhere that I tend to get burnt and also on my ears. So, um, yeah, I really, really love the sunblock. Next, of course, you need your sunglasses. Mine were, are from H&M. They were only $4. And they have this nice little gold part on the side. And I don't like to invest in fancy sunglasses because I always lose them. And I really like this big style. And next, I like to have something that I don't really hear people talking about, but I love to have this. I really don't like it when my hair is tangling. It annoys the crap out of me. I don't really know how else to put it. So I like to bring up my detangler and a comb. This is the Suave Kids Detangling Spray in Double Dutch Apple. I love this stuff to death. It works so well, so easily, and it smells fantastic. Um, and then my comb is just like from CVS or something. I don't remember. I just really hate it when my hair is tangly, and whenever I get out of the pool, this will nourish my hair a little bit so it doesn't feel so dry and disgusting. And yeah, and Suave is also really inexpensive, so I have to have these. And I like to have some gum. Right now I have the Orbit mint, just regular peppermint, I think. But yeah, I really like this, and I'm probably going to pop a piece in my mouth later, just because it's nice to have good breath, and you know. And then my two last things, or three last things, are more so for scent purposes. First is my pink sun-kissed body spray. I recently got this from pink, and I hauled it. Oh, it smells heavenly. It's like coconutty and vanilla-y, and I love it. And I hauled this in my pink and Target haul for June, so I will link that video down below for you guys if you guys are interested in seeing it. It's super cute. This travel size was $8 and I just got this like two days ago and I'm already obsessed with it. Mm. The only thing I don't like about it is I wish it were a little bit stronger, like it would last a little bit longer on my skin. But you know, what you gonna do? Next I have a hand sanitizer. This is the Bath & Body Works Ho Aloha Orchid. I don't know why I couldn't say Aloha. But yeah, I just like to have a hand sanitizer. I feel like my hands tend to get kind of gross at the pool. It's just nice to have this with me. And then last but not least, an, a lip balm. This is the Eos Honeysuckle Honeydew, or Honeydew Honeysuckle. I can never remember. This is my favorite lip balm right now, as you can tell. I'm applying it right now, and it's amazing. 
I love this lip balm so much. These are like two or three dollars at the drugstore. They're super cute. There's a lot of product in them and they are just so worth it and they are just fantastic. I love these so, so, so much if you couldn't already tell by my like amazingness. So that, I believe, oh, that is all that I keep in my beach bag except for I forgot one thing. I do like to have an extra hair tie. Even if I do have one with me, I like to bring one with me. I just remind myself of that and I'm just going to stick this on my detangler bottle. I just feel like I always lose hair ties at the pool and if I want to put my hair up, it sucks whenever you lose your hair tie. Um, so that is all I keep in my pool bag. So now I am going to go into my waterproof makeup routine. Really, I don't do face makeup if I'm going into the water, so let me remove this makeup really fast, but mainly I just like to define my eyes a little bit and that's just about it. So I'm going to remove what I have on my face right now and then I will show you my regular waterproof makeup. So my waterproof makeup is really simple. I really don't like to overdo it or anything. I really just do what I need to do. And so for that, first of all, let me zoom in on my eyes so you can see a better view of what I am going to be doing. So first off, I like to apply an under eye concealer. I'm using the Almay Wake Up and this is what it looks like. I'm almost out of this stuff so I'm trying to use it up. But this is what it looks like and just pump up a little bit of product and put this just a little bit under your eyes like so. I really don't want there to be too much stuff going on. I just want a little bit on the darkest part of my under eye circles and then to be done with it. So I'm just patting this in with my finger. Okay, so that is all. If you want to set it, um, you can. I'm personally going to just to make sure as well as I can that it will stay. So I'm using the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I believe that's what this is called. I hope that focused for you guys. Um, so this is what this product looks like and I just like to apply this with a big fluffy brush under my eyes. So a brush like this and just pat this in under my eyes. Okay, so next moving into eyeshadow. I really like to keep it simple with eyeshadow. The main thing that I like to do is use um, a bright color, turquoise, blue, sometimes purple. I feel like purple can make me look kind of tired though. Just to um, make my eyes pop a little bit. So I'm using the Maybelline Single in the shade Emerald. And it's just a really pretty turquoise color, really pigmented. Just a little swatch for you. And this just gives a nice pop of color to my eyes. And I usually like to use a flat brush. Usually this is like an eyeliner brush, but whatever. And I just like to get this on the edge and then work this around my eyes. Not so much under. I only like to do like the first in like outer half of my eye when I do the under part, but for the top, I like to do the whole thing. for eyeshadow. Next I am just going to apply a mascara and then do my brows. So for my brows I am using high-end product. Um, I use the Naked Basics palette, the color Faint I believe it's called. No, Naked 2. Right here is like my absolute perfect brow color and so I like to fill my brows in with this just using an angled brush but um, obviously you could easily use a brow kit from the drugstore. I just find that this works best for me and I already own this and I don't really want to go out and find something else just because I feel like this works really well for me. So then I like to comb through my brows with a spoolie just to get out any of the extra product. And then I just want to say I'm not going to set this. I honestly, in the pool, I feel like whenever I set my brows, it's too, like, it's just too much and it smears a lot, but this, if any of this product comes out, it's really just going to come out. It's not going to be smearing all over your face and make it look like you have, like, gargantuan, like, eyebrows. Like, it's really not that big of a deal if some of this product comes off. I just like to fill them in slightly so that my face is framed a little bit nicer. And then the last thing for my eyes is to apply a mascara, a waterproof mascara. Now, this isn't my favorite mascara, the Maybelline The Rocket, as of right now at least. 
but I do like that this is waterproof and if this comes off it's not gonna be streaky it's just gonna kind of chunk off a little bit Do you know what I mean like if you touch your lashes you're gonna get a little bit of that like powdery like little specks of it Do you know what I'm talking about but it's not gonna smear and give you raccoon eyes which I do like about this so I'm gonna apply two maybe three coats of this on my upper lashes and then one coat of this on my lower This product I think is kind of hard to work with. That's part of why I don't like it as much as a lot of people do. Um, next I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I really just like to do a really light dusting of this just to give me a little bit more coverage. So I'm using a Beauty Basics brush and this looks like this. I think we all know what it looks like. Tap it off a little bit just to make myself matte because I don't want to be all oily looking at the pool or the beach, wherever you're going. And then for lips, I'm going to use a stain. Actually, it's not really a stain. It's well, what I'm doing a combo. Let's just put it that way. This um, NYC lip stain. It's 16 hours, and this is in the shade Forever Fuchsia. Um, what I like to do with this is apply a few coats of this. It's not the most pigmented thing, but this helps what I'm going to put over top of it stay longer. And then I like to go over that with the Maybelline Vivid Lipstick in the shade Vivid Rose. And this is just a really pretty fuchsia color. It looks very similar to this, but it, this helps the staying power of this, which is almost like a stain all by itself. So I like to apply this. So that is all for my waterproof makeup and my what is in my beach bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Please comment future video requests for the month of June, which I'm trying to make all about drugstore products, except for my eyebrows. Feel bad about that, but you know, what you gonna do? So again, I hope you enjoyed, and please subscribe to my channel for more fun-themed videos. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.